Hello. In this video, we are going to explain some questions about how making citations and references in IEEE style. First of all, what are style guidelines? They are rules made by agreement. They are globally accepted by the academic community. The style guidelines help to identify other authors' works and validate ours within our field of research and they help other authors to correctly find the references as well. The style guidelines prove that we know the community's parlance and therefore we belong to it, and so the peer reviewers of the paper we are writing will acknowledge it. The IEEE guidelines recommended by the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers are widely used in academic and scientific publications in the fields of engineering and computing. These style guidelines are some issues like publication, mathematical equations, or references, for instance. Based on the Chicago style, the characteristics are the use of abbreviations in the sites and the numerical references in the list of references at the end of the paper. We are going to see it with more detail. The IEEE reference guide describes how to cite and write references in academic works of engineering, computing, and information technology, as we, as we said before. This style uses a numerical reference system as a main ca um, characteristic. The sources consulted are indicated by a number in a square brackets within the text, which matches with a complete reference that must be included in the references list and the on the paper. There are some general rules for the use of references in the text. The sources consulted are indicated by a number in a square brackets within the text, which matches with a complete reference that, me, that must be included in the references list at the end of the paper, as we said before. Once a number has been assigned to a specific reference, that same number will be used whenever that document is cited in the text. It is not necessary to mention the author in the reference unless it could be relevant in the text itself, nor does the date of publication appear. We should not include the word reference, just indicate as he is uh, explaining here. For mentioning more than one document at the same time, numbers in two square brackets separated by commas should be used, like is explained in this example, as several studies confirm one comma, three comma, five comma, etc. And to cite verbatim, quotation marks are needed, indicating the number of the page after the mention. Let's see some examples about IEEE references. For book references, if there is just one author, we are citing him with the first name initials and the surname complete. Then the title book in italics, the edition, if it is not the first one, the place of publication, colon, publisher, and year of publication. There is an example here to see it better. If there are several authors, all the authors are mentioned. They are separated by commas, and the last one is mentioned with an and. But if there are more than six authors, the first one will be mentioned, and then it will, it will be followed by et al, like in the example. If we are making references for electronic books, we add at the end uh, online into a square bracket, and we say the URL where it is available. For citing chapter, uh, book chapters, um, if there is one author, we mention the name as usual in IEEE style, the author's name initials and his surname, the chapter title into quotation marks in the book title in italics, edition, etc. If there are two authors, we mention both of them, and then we link them with the word and, and it's the same as before, chapter title into quotation marks, then in book title in italics, edition, place of publishing, etc. There are two examples to comprehend it better. If we are citing journal papers, uh, as always in IEEE style, the author's first name and initials and the surname complete, the title of the paper into quotation marks, the journal title in italics unabbreviated, it is important, the volume, the number, the pages, the months abbreviated as well, the year, and its doi if it exists. Uh, as usual, there, are, there is an example for you to, to see it better. If it is an electronic journal, we add the following at the end, online into square brackets, available at the URL corresponding, and the date of access. 
Conference proceedings. There are two cases. The conference might be published or published. If it is unpublished, if it is published, pardon, the author's name initials and surname as always, the title of the paper into quotation marks, in name of the conference in italic and abbreviated, the city of the conference, the state, abbreviated as well, the year and the pages. But if, if it is an unpublished conference, the, we cite the author's name and initials and surname as always, the title of the paper into quotation marks, and we said presented at, and then the name of the conference abbreviated as well, the city of the conference, the state, and the year, with two examples here to see it. For thesis and dissertations, the, they are usually the same way to be cited, but the difference is that we have to say which kind of work it is, if it is a PG, PhD dissertation, a MMS thesis, or a BS thesis. Then always we put the department in which it has been done, the university abbreviated, the city of the university, that is the address of the university, the state abbreviated as well, and the year of the, the work. There are three examples for you to compare them. If they are, we are citing academic papers online, the author is cited as usual, the title of the academic work into quotation marks, the type of work, the department, university, city, country, year, and we add online into square brackets and the URL. In, in engineering and computing fields, it is uh, usual to work and cite patents. Uh, for it, it is mandatory to retain or request the day of the month the when referencing the patent. It is very important. And so we cite the authors, of, uh, of course, the title of the patent into quotation marks, the country and its number, the, the name of the country will be abbreviated, the month, day, and year of the, the patent when the patent was registered. I think the example here. This, it is usual in engineering and computing to cite reports as well. The general form of citing technical reports is to place the name and location of the company or institution after the author and title, and to give the report number and date at the end of the reference, as in the example here. Nowadays, it is usual to cite websites as well. The most basic entry for a website consists of the author's name, the page title, the website title, the web address, and the date of access. Like, like is explained in this, in this um, paragraph and in the example below. It is usual as well to cite some posts of social media. Then we always mention the author, the title of the entry, the website name, the URL, the date of access, and of course, it is online, it's into square brackets, and available in the link of the, to the entry to the social media we are citing, like in this example. For citing in, and making references in IEEE styles, it is usual, as you have seen here, the use of abbreviations, but uh, the reference guide in this chapter four provides a list of useful abbreviations in references for helping you in managing them, so don't worry. In the UNED library, there is also a live guide to help you and consult some examples and, and styles, different styles. You go to the website of the library, go to the li li um, live guide, following these steps, then to the, gear, the corresponding gears. And here you will have different styles for, in, in this case, the IEEE is as well for you to consult some examples and, and doubts. And it is all about the IEEE reference guide. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.